Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I get asked all the time, Cisco, how do you get that perfect crunchy cuero on your pedinis? So here's the answer, okay? First of all, you wanna have it sitting out for at least an hour before you go to cook this bad boy. My oven is already at a 440 degree temperature, nice and preheated, ready to go. And what you wanna do is you take the skin and you wanna dry it off, okay? Get all the moisture off of the skin. Okay, once you get all the moisture off of the skin, then you wanna oil it. I know, sounds weird. Oil the skin, which is basically fat, but this is how it works, okay? So, we're about done drying it all off. Got my paper towel here. Got it all dried off. Now, we're going to oil this skin. So I've got here some extra virgin olive oil. That's all it takes. So just put a little bit of olive oil and massage it in to the skin. All right, now if you like a more saltier, um, crunchy skin, then you can add a little bit of sea salt to the top of this afterwards. But if you do that, go ahead and rub it in as well, okay? So we're gonna stick this in here. See, I got the foil down low to catch any of the drippings off of this thing. It's 440 degrees, we're gonna go one hour. Okay, so it's been an hour, and this is what the skin looks like right now. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and lower it down. I'm gonna stick a probe in her, so I know at what temperature she's cooking. We're going for pulled pork today. So the oven temperature is at 300 degrees now, and the internal temperature of that pork is at 64 degrees. So she's gonna cook for a little while, and we'll cook her till she gets to 195. We're gonna get to 195, but we have to raise the temperature. So this is the crucial part. If you want good cuero, you good crunchy skin, when you get to the temperature that you want internally, you need to raise the temperature back up to the 440. There it is, my friends. So, cook it at 440. You just gotta keep an eye on it until it gets to the consistency you want. Tap it every once in a while, and you'll know that you're there. If you wanna keep your cuero warm, you can peel that off. And once you peel it off, you can put it on a, a tray and stick it in the oven at like, you know, 170 to just kind of keep it warm, um, sort of up to you, while you're resting the, resting the rest of it. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, while you're waiting for your bed ning to rest, all right, can totally have at the credit. Cut it up, break it up however you want. You want bite-sized pieces so you can share with the fan. That's good. I like to cut it with the scissors. Let me get nice chunks. Mm -hmm. That three-day rub. That is absolutely delicious.